So we've had a few questions from you guys come in about security and how you can keep your gadgets secure, um, especially following the news article about the Channel 4 news reporter Benjamin Cohen, who recently had his iPhone stolen. Yeah, at knife point. At knife point. At 10 in the morning. And um, quite rightly so, some of you guys are like, OK, how on earth can I protect myself? I would say that the, the things to look at here are A, preventing it from happening in the first place, uh, B, ensuring the physical device, mm. Also, making sure that um, any data that we have on our phones is protected because in many respects, um, that's, that's more important than the device itself because devices are easily yeah. replaceable. I mean, someone told me a tip, in fact it was you, about not taking your phone out immediately just after you've got out of the tube and, you yeah, know, yeah. keep it even just as simple as keeping your phone in a zipped pocket in your bag. You know, I'm sure you've heard the adverts on, on the radio about, you know, you pull out your, your device and a thief doesn't see it as your phone. They, they see it as you're carrying around 500 quid. You know, they're small devices that are worth a lot of money. They're absolutely ideal for, for theft. But, but of course, if you do end up in one of these situations, as, as, as such as uh, Benjamin Cohen did, no matter how much you love your gadgets, it is not worth gambling your life over. Don't try and be a hero. No. You know, just, just hand it over and walk away. You know, that's and the, the best approach. You know, you can do that quite happily, especially if you know that you've got insurance. Now, insurance is a pretty important thing mm. to have. Yeah, um, I mean, mine, mine comes with my bank. I think it's underwritten by, you know, a proper insurance company. House insurance will often cover it, um, but you need to check with that, that you, sometimes you have to specifically tell them what phone you have. I had to give over the IMEI number for my, for my phone, for my insurance. But I know a number of my friends have got like their laptops, their tablets and their mm. phones all covered in a specific technology policy. Um, and it's not too dear. Um, when you consider the replacement cost, if you're out on a holiday or something, you've got a you've got a, a rucksack with you know your laptop, your tablet, and your phone in there, right there and then. You've got nearly two grand that could get taken in one Absolutely. go. Absolutely. Certainly, that's the the physical side uh, of things. So the next step is um, you know your actual data on mm. there, which it, uh, I would f I say is potentially uh, the biggest theft of all. You've got. You've got all your personal photos, your music collection, your emails and all your apps and everything set up as you want it. So you want to make sure that um, all of that is backed up. If you're using a Google account and it's tied to your, to your system, it should synchronize all your contacts by default to your Google account and all of your apps as well, certainly all your purchased apps, so that if you sign into a new device, it'll pull down those contacts and all those apps straight away. What doesn't get backed up is your photos um, I believe Google Plus does have a system where it will automatically synchronize those uh, and be able to pull them down. Um, you can also use Google Drive. Um, but your SMS messages aren't backed up. That's something you can get external backup programs to do. I know one I often see people talk about is titanium backup. Um, yeah, but there's, there's a lot on the market to, yeah. to do this stuff. Mm. So guys, if you have any more questions that you'd like us to answer, then you can write in the comment box on YouTube or also on our Tech and Style page now, you can also yeah. comment. And if you've got some interesting stories of your own daylight robbery, then uh, do head over to our forum and let us know what happened. You can also subscribe on YouTube or iTunes if you'd like to see any future episodes. So hopefully we shall see you there. Stay safe, people.